Hello and welcome to this Edge TX quick tip. Now, quite a few people have asked about this, so I'm gonna make a video. So thank you to those of you that have messaged me about it. Specifically today, we're going to be talking more about how you can modify the telemetry information. Maybe one of the sensors is reading slightly wrong. Maybe it's a voltage or something like that. How you can modify the sensor within the telemetry readings of the radio so that that maybe the battery voltage or whatever is actually reading correct. Now, what I've got here is I have um, a receiver that I've bound to this radio. It'll give a voltage reading, which will kind of let me show you how you fix that stuff and how this all works. So let me just power this up. And when this is powered, the radio will get a connection and we'll see it here. Here we have, we have telemetry. So if I go into model, zoom all the way across, we'll be able to see here that we have an awful lot of sensors being sent down. And now these are all coming from the receiver. And if a receiver was connected to a flight controller, then I would always recommend look at fixing it on the flight controller end first. Lots of things like Betaflight, iNav, and things like ArduPilot have the ability to change the multiplier for detected battery voltage. And I would do it there first. I would do it like this as a last resort, really, because to be honest, this is, it's okay, but it's a little bit finicky. Now, there are a number of ways that you can change it. You can add something called an offset. So say, for example, this is always reading half a volt low. You can add that half a volt onto the sensor so that it's right. Or it could be a ratio, which allows you to multiply the sensor's reading by a specific factor. Uh, that is not only useful for maybe fixing uh, something that isn't scaling properly, but also potentially messing around by changing the units. So maybe you want something in kilometers an hour versus miles per hour or feet instead of meters. That it allows you to do that too. And using those two things together, the offset and the ratio, should allow you to get the values pretty much solid. And I would recommend not only doing it particularly for voltage when the battery is fully charged, but also try it with a partially and a discharge battery to make sure that the voltage tracks all the way down. Again, I would hardly recommend if you're using a flight controller, do this kind of voltage calibration with the flight battery in the flight controller because if the flight controller is reading the battery voltage correctly, sending the telemetry down to the radio, it'll be right on here and it tends to be a little bit easier. So let's have a look at this. We've got lots of things coming down. One of them, and we'll just use this as an example, is the receiver battery. Receiver battery at the moment is 0.9 volts. Um, that'll be because they, I think this actually detects battery voltage, but it's a perfect thing to do. So we're gonna select it. And we're gonna say edit. And then what we have, as we have the name, this is the one that's given to it by default, called RxBat. The type, the two, which is custom, and the other one is calculated. You can create your own telemetry uh, values and sensors by actually calculating them from other things. The next one is called the ID. Now the ID indicates what type of sensor it is, and also the second part is how many instances. So right now, this is sensor ID 0008, which means it's voltage, and the sensor number is zero, which means it's the first sensor. If you had multiple of these sensors, then there'd be 00081 would be the next one, etc. Next one is the unit, voltage. Next one is the precision. Uh, that's just one decimal point. Obviously, you can change the precision as in, you want it. The next two things are the ratio and offset. We're going to come back in those in a moment. Let's do these things at the bottom first. Auto offset. When that's selected, the value that the radio first gets is then used as the offset value. So if Say for example, altitude, if the first value that came back down was 130 feet, and then as you start to fly, and it was 160 feet coming back to the radio, it would actually deduct that initial 130 feet from the value. So the altimeter would read 30 feet. Does that kind of make sense? So the auto offset will take off whatever the first reading is as kind of done automatically. Positive, when that's selected, the value of the sensor will be displayed only when it's a positive number. So it'll display zero when the sensor becomes a negative number. So you don't get any negative values, if that's important to you. 
Filter, when this is turned on, the sensor becomes an average rolling value of the last five received values. That can be handy if you have a value that bounces around a lot and you want to kind of try and smooth that out because you're getting alerts in slightly random ways on the radio. That is great to turn on. And logs is obviously whether or not it's going to uh, be logged in SD card logging, whether you're turning that on in special functions or like global functions on the radio. So that is how we're going to play with this. So let's go back up here. At the top, we can see that center 11's value is 0 0.9 volts. I can add an offset. And cool thing is here, if I just scroll down so you can see the top, if I start adding offset to it, you can see 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5 volts. Okay. So now RX battery is 1.5 volts because we've added 0.6 volts onto that particular voltage. That might be all we need to do. However, it might also be that the ratio is needed as well. So the ratio could be wrong and it could not be adding the right amount at the far end to do something like a voltage calculation. Here we can go maximum and now it reads 106.5 volts. We can go to minimum, with, which is nothing. But as you see, we can kind of increase it here. And on the top, what you'd be doing is you'd be watching. I would probably start it at actually by just getting rid of the offset first of all. I would probably go into here and I would start bumping this up until I got to the point where it was actually reading correct. So one point five because it's see how that worked if that worked i'd test the voltage range again over several different voltages fully charged partially charged and empty see if that works and then if it's always um, reading a little bit wrong in some of the other ways then i change the offset but you ha kind of have to play around with these and actually if you figure out what the sensor is showing you at those three values what the voltage actually is on the battery over those three values you can use a little bit of back of a fag packet maths to figure out what the offset should be and then once the offset's done you can change the ratio so the value is close like I said, it's not particularly elegant in here. It would be nice if there were smarter ways to do it, but I would recommend if you're playing with this, then if you possibly can, fix it on the far end if you're using a flight controller first. And if you can't, then you can come in here and start messing around by doing things like adding both ratio and potentially also offset either or, or both to get the value so it reads right and reads right or more or less over the entire range. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payland360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.